I don't know why y'all think y'all need fresh beans to make some bomb beans. Let me show you how easy it is to make string beans from the can. Let's go. What's good, my YouTube fam? Listen, I'm just going to cut right to the chase. Stop making it so hard. Let me show you how easy it is to make some canned green beans taste like some delicious, flavorful, bombdiggity.com fresh beans. And this is all you're going to need. It's just a can of beans, okay? A couple of potatoes, a nice big yellow onion, and some nice um you could use smoked turkey you could use ham hock you could use neck bone whatever kind of meat you like and listen if you want to go out get your fresh beans go right ahead this is thanksgiving i ain't got time we go on the can route and they gonna be what bomb stay tuned what is up my youtube fam so here is my ham hocks that's literally been cooking all day they are tender to the touch they are falling off the bone all of that residue you see is nothing but seasonings that we are going to need to make some bomb beans y'all so what i'm about to do is let this meat cool off i'm gonna chop it up shred it up a little bit and we are just gonna get it popping y'all stay tuned okay my youtube fam okay so now it is time to get these beans rocking and rolling for real so right here y'all so these are three ham hocks that i said has been um like i said earlier has been boiling in seasoning legit probably y'all for about six seven eight hours like until they they are like super tender and I said, look, they are so tender. Let me see if I could grab them. Look at that. Me and my daughter have been eating the meat. Look at that, how that just falls apart. So, y'all, I said, it's so good. I said that I was going to shred that up and chop it up. I'm not. So, peep game. Easy peasy. Now, these right here, this is all of the juices from that ham hot. All that right there is flavor. You need that. Okay? You need that, especially for those canned beans. We are about to take these canned beans up 50 notches. Okay? So, the first thing we are going to do is add in some water. Okay? That's one cup. Actually, that was two cups. That's four cups. Six cups, y'all, okay? We have us, fix that, that's rocking. That's rocking and rolling the pot. So y'all, so now we have our flavored season um, ham hock broth, if you will. We have six cups of water. Now we have a roughly chopped half of a yellow onion. That was a nice big yellow onion. Roughly chopped, toss it in there. Don't worry about how big or how small your onion is because these string beans, is we about to cook the crap out of them. Because with canned beans, they need to go low and slow at least three hours y'all because you can you take do not take these straight out the can and serve these to your family don't do that because it's gonna taste like straight up metal okay so we got our again onion broth water let me just break some of these onions apart just like this okay y'all now i got my fire on low y'all Okay, so now you got that, right? Now let's start scoop, um, throwing in some of our 
canned beans. Okay. And these is the best canned beans right here to me. I love using these store brought ones. So that's one, two cups. Okay. And we're not, I'm sure like everybody else, we're not having really nobody uh, over for Thanksgiving. So I'm just going to make a nice little reasonable amount. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. So that can, you can actually get um like two large servings. Like this right here is probably to serve maybe after I'm done. This is probably, let me see. This right here. Oh God. Easily five people. Six. Five or six. Okay, so boom. See that? So you got your beans in there. Boom, boom, boom. And you could say, do something else with the other, um, for the, with the rest of your beans. I think I have something that I want to try with the rest of those beans. And of course, I'm going to post it to show you guys. But I think I have an idea. Okay, so you got your beans, you got your onions, you got your flavored broth, you got your water, right? We going in with some black pepper. Okay, and these beans could take a lot of seasoning. Listen, because we going to let this, this broth is probably going to cook out and we're going to have to add in more water. I will let you guys know as I go. So that was black pepper. And this is garlic pepper. Okay. This is granulated onion. Okay. Creole seasoning. Give it a little kickity kick kick Creole, okay? And some Larry seasoning salt. Uh, Larry seasoning salt is probably gonna be your best friend during the holidays. This should be your best friend. Um, if you can't get your hands on my all purpose seasoning, that is. Um, Larry's is like the next best thing. It's the best thing, actually. So, a little bit of Larry's in that, okay? And now, give it a stir. Look at them things. Some things looking good already, but it ain't time. It ain't time. We about to transform these. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Y'all, your peoples will never know. If you cook these canned beans, the way that I'm about to cook these canned beans, I'm telling you. And like I said, you can use smoked um, turkey. Um, if you don't mess with the pork, you can use smoked neck bone. You can use a smoke hot. You can use a fresh hot. These was fresh. These was fresh ham hot. So, that was my, um, that's what I wanted to use. So, give them a nice stir. And as you can just see that seasoning, you can see that seasoning all up in there, right? So, you can never cook ham hot for too long. It's no such thing. Ham hot could go all day if you let it. So, what we're about to do is put our beautiful ham hocks, bone, fat, meat and all, back in our string beans they're going back in they're going back in they're going back in so these is gonna be meaty flavorful and just downright delicious so what I'm doing y'all I'm taking the edge of my metal fork and I'm just poking at those ham hocks because I want to break them up a little bit to um, distribute that meat throughout my grain beans so as it's cooking low and slow, I just want that meat to just finish flavor, flavor, flowing, flavor, flavoring. Oh, sis, you can't talk. I'm too excited. I can't talk because I'm too excited. So that meat is just going to finish flavoring the whole stream beans, y'all. So just break it up a little bit. Break it up. And when these are like just about done, I am going to chop up. A white potato you don't need a lot of potato because you think with your rest of your sides you probably having candy yams that's a potato you probably have a potato salad that's a potato some like mashed potatoes you know what I'm saying so one potato should um suffice and also y'all when y'all add in the potato it kind of just like thickens up your um, bean juice it's just like that starts from the potato kind of just thickens up that and I'm telling y'all I'm telling you now, 
this is for you know what I should name this recipe I ain't got time green beans I probably call it that this is if you want some nice delicious quick I ain't got time for to snap no peas no beans string beans okay so if you into that snapping your beans I don't got nothing against it you know I know how to snap beans my grandma taught me years ago I love it I get it I love it but listen try this out y'all lid on y'all we gonna let that go low and slow for hours I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show y'all how it's looking midway through stay tuned all right my YouTube fam these beans have been cooking low and slow for about two and a half hours on low you have to cook the crap out of them we are not worried about any nutrients that we're losing because who eating healthy on Thanksgiving like all like that you know what I'm saying so you definitely have when you're going the can route you definitely have to um, cook them for a while you do you, you just have to um, to give them to reach that good flavor so this is my beans and at this point they are done but if you wanted to add in potato you definitely could um, just um, uh, you probably just need like one potato cut that up in big chunks throw that in the potato is not going to take any time to get soft so leave that potato in for about maybe 10 minutes done so I don't know I'm sitting here debating if I want to put a potato in there because we're probably having potato salad and then like I said earlier we're having like yam so I'm but I don't know we'll see but this is basically it as you can see that broth is just like so flavorful all of that is just seasoned seasoned and then you have your um fresh ham hock in there and that ham hock is just all distributed throughout and this is how I love to eat my beans I want like meat in every bite look at that you can see the onion cooked down you can see the ham hock the seasoning let me turn this off and see if you guys can get it is that steam is just coming up but look at you guys seasoned delicious beans from the can and you would never even know cook them this route and I'm telling you you guys you will not be disappointed and don't be afraid to season like I said these take a lot of seasoning so I hope you guys enjoyed this video a quick another quick you know side dish or you know another little quick side dish that you can try for the holiday easy it took nothing I think it was what faux ingredients faux about faux things you need look at that delicious meat in every bite delicious so hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you guys thank you so much for tuning in I really 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 appreciate it um, everybody stay safe and stay blessed happy holidays